Hello, my name is Doug Hubble and welcome to Astrophotography Tutorials. Today I'm going to talk about uh, M42. When fall comes, M42 is one of the most uh, well-recognized favorite targets in the night sky. And I wanted to talk about how to process M42. Over the years I've learned a little bit about M42. I mean, if you've ever been around the sun one or two times, you've seen M42 through either a telescope or through your imaging. This little image that I have right here is the first shot I ever had of M42 and it may not look like much but these four little stars right here those are a big problem for most people when you uh, go to process M42 that's the trapezium in M42 and these stars are very very bright. If you take a photograph of it you'll notice that the inside of it is just so bright that a lot of times it washes out the center and that's where the processing challenge begins is trying to be able to process that where you can actually get in and see all the the terrific nebulosity around M42 and also get out these uh, four little stars here so what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna show you some step-by-step -step processing on how to handle M42 go ahead and save your your project as a Photoshop file so when you start working on it, you can go back to it if you need to uh, right now we have the first original layer right here if we view the uh, actual pixels and zoom in you can see there's the uh, the four little stars there that are you can see pretty well right now uh, but as you start stretching this image out because what you'll notice is that out here all around the black area out here I can guarantee that you're gonna find nebulosity out here the only problem is is that when you stretch it out to bring out that nebulosity this core will just be wiped out so let's go ahead and use one of Photoshop's uh, most powerful tools and that is layer mask and the way you can use these layer masks is quite simple you just kind of use a layer mask to bring out the details that you would like and then you kind of blend them together so you can have the big uh, bright core and you can also have the faint nebulosity all together as one so let's do this first we're gonna open up uh, levels we'll do a control M excuse me not levels uh, curves and we'll just crank this puppy up a bit and one two bring it down off the top there a little bit say okay now you can see right now as you look at this we uh, brought out more along the edges here and you know the cord immediately went away once we did that so let's go ahead and we're just gonna make that one layer and we may come back to it and do different stuff to it but let's go ahead and make a copy of that layer just went down there dragged it and brought it back up and I still think there's more detail out here on the outer edges so let's do this again uh, curves control M and let's crank that up a little bit more and you can actually start to see some more uh, detail starting to come out on the sides here see all this nice nebula along the edges right here but hey what about the center <laughs> it's not there anymore right I mean it's all blown out so we'll take that and we'll say okay what we want to do now is we want to blend all three of these different uh, layers together. We've got the big, bright outer uh, one that's going to cover all the, the faint nebulosity. We've got another one that's kind of like in the medium, the, the middle of all of it. And then we've got the, the core right there down at the bottom that you can see the four little trapezium stars. So I'm going to make a copy of the uh, background just so we have it there. Then I'm going to go to this next layer this intermediate layer and let's uh, kind of zoom it out so we can see what we're doing here and we'll put a layer mask on this right now we'll go to layer layer mask and we're, this time we're gonna say reveal all reveal all puts a white pane you can see right over here over the top of the image and what we want to do is to bring out the the, the detail underneath we're gonna use a, a black paintbrush so we'll select the uh, paintbrush tool over here and not white but we're going to select black and we can use the uh, open and closed square brackets to uh, bring out 
uh, the brush size there. One thing you can do is like you really can't see too well when that big bright one's over, but you can just click that layer off and you can see like, okay, well there's the, the detail I want to bring in uh, in case you, you forget. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to start painting over the top of this. And this is painting a black brush over the white layer mask paint. You can see the little black dot that's that's on there right now. Let's go through here too because this looked like it was uh, kind of blown out there as well. All the stuff that looks kind of big and bright, I think I'm going to just paint over. Okay, I don't want to go too far with it. Uh, let's let's see what this does right now. Let's next thing we'll do we'll do a filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and we'll back this out so we can see what we're doing here. And there's the the part we painted out. And right now it, it it's not a subtle change right now. So I can see like a a a, a hard change between the two layers. So what I want to do is I want to blur this out a little bit more to uh, make it more blended there. Let's see how that looks like. That looks pretty good right there. Say OK. And let's view um, the actual pixels. Yeah, yeah, we can still see the four little uh, trapezium stars there, so that's that's good. We haven't brought in our levels yet. Well, we can bring those levels in just a little bit and, and, and tone up the image a little better. Uh, so what we'll do next is uh, we'll take this last uh, big layer on the outside. We see this, and uh, what we're going to do next is we're going to blend the intermediate uh, with the outer one here. So let's before we get done with with that let's go ahead and we'll merge this down onto there so let's go merge down right click on it merge down and now we'll open up this uh, big bright layer here on the top and we'll do the same thing we'll go to layer layer mask and we're gonna say reveal all and again it's a white paint we've got the black brush and we're just gonna start painting over this let me get a bigger brush out here Okay, painting it around, trying to get the big bright white areas out. All right. Now the next step, as you know, is you go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. With the Gaussian blur, let's uh, bring it back out, and so we can see that uh, core there a little better. And let's pop it up a little bit, make it blend. Also, by the way, when you get into the Gaussian blur, you can just use the up and down mouse arrows to uh, kind of fine tune it. Not the mouse arrows, the the keyboard arrows here. All right, that's looking pretty good there. So I'll say OK there. And now what we've done is we've effectively taken three big layers and, and blended them together here. Let's go ahead and merge that down onto there. So this is what we have now. This is what we started off with. Now as you can see, this one layer down here, we could go back to it and maybe bring out some of the detail underneath there. Because uh, I can see that there's some detail that looks pretty nice in, in that area. So let's do that. Let's go ahead and bring that down like that. And this time what we'll do is we'll do a, a, a another layer mask and we'll go layer layer mask reveal all and let's take a quick look here just a little bit on the the center there is what I think I want to bring out 
just a little bit let's go into this area right here and I think I'm gonna just around that core because that core where the trapezium is is so big and bright so we'll do a uh, filter blur Gaussian blur and we'll take a look at that that's a little bit too much on there and we'll bring that down just a bit say OK and we'll merge that down okay so now we can start uh, toning it up a little bit and bringing out some more of the detail but the important part right here what we've done is we've uh, taken this image that was like this and we've brought out a lot of detail along the side and yet we've left that inner core the trapezium there uh, still where you can actually see the stars yeah, you can see the four little stars right there in the center uh, I'm going to go ahead and make a, uh, a copy of this and we're going to use uh, uh, the astronomy astronomy action tools here the astronomy tools uh, this is made by Noel Cor Corbani uh, you can just uh, I think it's like $22 you can download it and put it in your Photoshop but this local contrast enhancement I like this just go ahead and hit that and let it play and what it will do is it should bring out some more of the detail and give us some more uh, contrast and yeah we can see that that it did uh, actually looks pretty good what I noticed is, is that it, it's making it more coarse or more grain on the outside uh, we'll probably do another layer mask. Let me go ahead and bump it one more time. We'll give it another try and see what it does. Okay, that brought out some uh, a good detail, but I think what it's done, it's made the outside not as uh, uh, as well as I'd like it. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to go to uh, layer uh, layer mask, and I'm going to say hide all. And what I'll do is get my white paintbrush out and I'll start uh, drawing where I want some of the detail to come out. As you can see, I'm just painting around in this area right here. Uh, you can just use this. There's that uh, old man in a beard right there with the hood. Uh, we'll go ahead and paint him out. Uh, and you can just kind of like with this right here, the layer mask, as like I was telling you, is you can pick out areas you want to uh, highlight and... Uh, bring it alive uh, bring it sharper or give you more contrast whatever the case might be uh, just gonna go ahead and paint in a, a few more areas right here real quick Let's just go ahead and yeah I kinda like that all inside there with the uh, the nice detail right there okay now one of the things too that uh, we could probably work on these bright stars they are a little bit too bright uh, maybe I'll come back to that in another, another tutorial uh, but let's see right now after we've done this we can do a uh, a view excuse me we'll do a filter blur Gaussian blur and we'll blend this in a little bit so it uh, looks more smooth and looks like we missed a few spots in the center there so let's before we do the, the blur let's go ahead and make sure we get all that okay there we go so filter blur Gaussian blur and we'll just blur this mask now so we can uh, make a nice smooth transition between the two pieces here say okay that's looking pretty good uh, we've got uh, we've got a lot of detail on the outside we've got some detail on the inside uh, we look at this trapezium in the center uh, view actual pixels yeah we can still see we have uh, the four little stars there so overall it's uh, coming along pretty well uh, we'll merge this down and uh, make another copy okay one last thing I'd like to try here is uh, make a copy of this and we're going to use a level on there control M bring up the levels panel uh, excuse me the curves panel um, we'll just bring this down a little bit I want to just uh, see what happens if we uh, bring down the curves just a little bit here 
see if we can bring down more detail along the, the brighter parts of it. So I'm just going to say OK there. And then what I'll do is uh, we'll go to Layer, uh, Layer Mask, Hide All. And with that Layer Mask now selected, we'll have a black pane over there. So we'll need to paint a white paintbrush through that. And let's uh, size this up and just kind of like darken up some of these brighter areas that are that are uh, a little bit too bright out of there. Just go over through here. And like with the layer mask, you can just bring out uh, you know these these areas that you want without having to affect the whole image. And that's the one thing you need to come out of this uh, tutorial today with is that uh, you can take and you can precisely change parts of the image that you want to control without affecting the whole image and you can see right now I'm kinda of like uh, painting in some of these darker areas around here I think it gives it a better a better contrast uh, what I'm gonna do now of course like you well know I'm gonna go to filter blur Gaussian blur and let's uh, get this to blend in a little bit better and that, uh, yeah, that, that looks pretty good right there. Say OK. And uh, make a copy of that, and I'll merge it down on top of it. So this is what it looks like uh, before we added it, and then after it, it kind of toned that brightness down in the center. So uh, keep playing with your, your uh, layer mask in Photoshop with your astronomy uh, projects here. You'll find that you can do a lot of uh, very good, uh, precise detail wherever you want the detail. So when you start making these adjustments, just kind of focus in on one area. And don't really care or matter much what happens to the areas around it because you know that you can just bring out that one little piece that you need and you really don't care what happens to the rest of the image when you use a layer mask and then blend it together. I'm sure what I'll do later on is I'll come to these stars and uh, tone those down, but you've, you've got it well figured out now where you can figure out how to do that. If this is your first time watching, I would like you to subscribe. I publish two astrophotography videos on the 1st and 15th of every month. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you soon.